gloves. I've just washed my hair. Um, if you're new here, my name's Victoria. I mostly vlog and talk about homeschool and body confidence. Um, today I've got Shona. Shona is in her early 30s and she, well, last year she was a plus size bride. If you saw my meals of the week that I did, where there was a wedding cake and half of it was like white and like, you know, like the curve of a wedding dress and the other side was superhero stuff. It was a really cool cake. That was her cake. Um, so I'm going to let Shona introduce herself and then we'll do the questions. You got married last year. Being a plus size bride, did you feel any pressure to change anything about yourself for the big day? Hi, and here goes. Uh, first question was, as a plus size bride, did I feel any pressure to lose any weight or change my image? Um, no, I didn't actually. Uh, I knew that there were dresses available in my size. I knew that there was a style that suited my size and I was comfortable with that. Um, I, in recent years, I've been more health focused when it comes to losing weight. <laughs> I don't think it's an image thing anymore. I don't think it's um, how it looks in a picture anymore. I'm, you know, that's just my opinion now. Um, years gone by, I probably would have been different. But I didn't pressure myself. And my husband's very supportive anyway. You know, he's seen me in loads of different sizes. He's seen me gain and lose weight throughout 10 years of being with him. And he saw me as a beautiful bride. I could have turned up in a black bag and he would have been happy to marry me. So that made the situation a lot less pressured to start with. And I've got a lot of supportive friends who see me as an attractive person regardless of size. So, yeah, that helped. I, d I didn't feel that much pressure at all. So I'm lucky. Question two, when you see women dramatically change themselves for their wedding day, either through huge weight loss or cosmetic surgery, how does that make you feel? Question two was, um, when you see women uh, go through dramatic weight loss or cosmetic surgery for the benefit of a wedding, um, how does it make you feel? Um, sad for the woman in some ways, but there are different ways of looking at it. If they're feeling pressured, to feel like they should lose weight or they have to be a certain size for the wedding day or they have to get the boob job or whatever then that's wrong you know no one should feel pressured to change themselves for a wedding day but on the other side of the fence usually when I've been successful in losing weight there's been a catalyst involved like a change in circumstances um, I don't know you go for a break up and think I'm going to change myself new new year new me kind of thing or even the new year <laughs> can be a reason that kickstarts you into having a healthy weight loss and a wedding can be that a wedding can just as easily be that kickstart that you might need to lose the weight if you need to lose the weight um what makes me sad is when i see a lady that i don't think is particularly big or would be classed as you know medically you know at, at risk because of their size and they're going mental to lose two sizes in six months and it's like that's not necessary you know and if you've got like i've said in the last question if you've got a supportive environment no one should pressure you it should be you but on the other side to be fair if it's the woman's choice if she wants to make those changes that's up to her too i just i'd like it to be a healthy choice i'd like it to be a you know nothing that's going mad and don't don't even get me started on cosmetic surgery because i'm against it anyway um the idea that companies can make thousands of pounds out of someone's mental insecurity about the figure and about the weight and about their image is wrong you know plastic surgery was originally based on um health reasons for burn victims and needing skin grafts and such like that so the fact that someone can work on your psychology to say a smaller nose would be better bigger boobs would be better plump your bum up suck your fat out that's all wrong so cosmetic surgery could be a completely different interview for me because i really don't agree with it but um now I'd, I'd never agree with that anyway but weight loss there's two sides of the coin if you're being pressured that's wrong if you feel you're not good enough it's wrong but if it's the start of a new lifestyle and you just needed that push and then you look at your wedding photo and think wow how well did i do that's totally different so there's two ways of looking at it i think 
Question three. After many years with your partner, you married in your 30s. If you'd have married in your late teens or 20s, do you think your attitude to being a plus-size bride would have been different? Okie dokie, so next question was, as um, a woman in your 30s getting married after ha being in a happy relationship for um, 10 years, would your attitude to being a plus-size bride have been different when you were younger, so late teens and early 20s? Uh, yes, definitely. My attitude towards my image was a lot different back then. I mean, um, I lived in t-shirt and jeans because shops weren't really on the cusp of, you know, providing plus size trendy clothes for women back then. Um, I remember the first feminine outfit <laughs> I, I bought was for my mum and dad's 25th wedding anniversary and it was a skirt and a, a smart top. You'd never seen me in anything like that up to that point. Um... And yes, I am a tomboy, I will admit, that's always been my style, but I think I was forced into that style to a certain degree because when I was younger I couldn't find feminine style clothes because shops didn't make them for big people or they were in shops that were ridiculously expensive. So, um, yeah, when I was in my teens I was very insecure anyway. I wouldn't have been wanting to be in a dress it would have had to be floor length, no visible leg. Um, the only attribute I was proud of was mid chest. So, um, yeah, I want to be very different. I think age has benefited me in a lot of ways as far as being a parent, as far as being a wife. Um, I needed to do a lot of growing up and be a lot more comfortable with myself. Not just for image, but being married anyway. You know, I, I couldn't have been a young bride. I don't think that would have ever worked. So... Um, yeah, image-wise, definitely. I'm a lot more comfortable being older and looking at myself differently than I did when I was in my early 20s. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. Four. You look beautiful on your wedding day. You did. Did you feel insecure at any point? Next question was, um, you look beautiful on your wedding day. Uh, at any point, did you feel insecure? Uh, thank you, for a start, <laughs> saying I look beautiful. Um, I felt it. It felt very nice and I, I think you could turn up in a black bag, like I said before. And if you're happy getting married, um, you're going to feel and look lovely. You know, I've never seen an ugly bride. Show me a picture of an ugly bride. Um, but, I, yeah, there was um, parts of my look <laughs> that I, I look back at pictures and think, oh my God. My bum's huge, <laughs> you know. Um, but in the de during the day, I was just so over the moon at the fact that I was getting married. I think a lot of my image insecurities were gone. Um, I started the day getting ready at my mum and dad's house, and my mum and dad are really supportive and really encouraging. So I just I felt really comfortable by the time I got there, and everyone kept saying, "Oh, you look lovely. You look lovely," and I think I've adjusted over the years to believe compliments you know that's another hang up of being plus size um when people go oh you look lovely or you're looking well what does that mean <laughs> you know i've always been a bit what does looking well mean does it mean i look big I, I don't know why my brain you know texts me there but i can accept compliments a lot better now and i, I wasn't as insecure and again, putting it back to having supportive people around me and having a husband that loved me, whatever I look like, that's, that helps my insecurities, having a support group, really. And also, you know, I got to that point of having the dress I wanted, the outfit I wanted, nothing else was going to make me feel bad. So that's perfect, really. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I didn't feel that bad. I, I, I didn't have that many moments of insecurity at all. I'm very lucky. Question five. Is it harder for plus-size brides to find the perfect dress? No. Number five. Is it harder for plus-size brides to find the perfect wedding dress? Uh, days gone by, I would have said yes, definitely. Um, I still think the industry, be it wedding dresses or fashion in general is favouring uh, slimmer people and I think some of the styles no matter how comfortable you are some styles cannot be pulled off by short stumpy women like me <laughs> um, if if you're not built with 
the hips in the right place <laughs> and the boobs in the right place, some outfits just won't work. Um, I think it's getting better, both wedding dresses and fashion in general, it's getting better. I think there's more range for larger people. The only thing that irritates me though is that it's treated like a niche market really. And when you look at things like the tall section in a shop or the petite section in a shop and then the plus size section in a shop, um, they seem to be priced different. Like I've got to pay more for my clothes and it's like, okay, you charge me more because there's more material. <laughs> um, but that's my only gripe really. I think the whole shop should be you know, petite, tall, um, you know, slim or big included in the same price. And I do see a massive price jump when you're paying for a plus size item. Um, so I wouldn't say availability is the problem. Sometimes price, although I didn't spend a lot of money on my wedding dress, the accessories made it. Um, I was determined not to go mad on a dress I'd only wear once. Um, but yeah, I'd say the situation's got better. Um, I find it easier than I would have done, say, 10, 15 years ago. And it depends on the style and the size that, you, um, well, more style of dress that you're going to wear. Because body confidence is important and you shouldn't be told you can't wear something. You shouldn't be told something doesn't look good on you. But you've got to look in the mirror and think, okay, do I like bearing my midriff? Or, okay, could I be doing something different, you know? If you are genuinely comfortable in what you're wearing, have at it, do do it, go for it. But I still have those hang-ups about things, and I think even slim women do. That You know, everybody looks in the mirror and thinks, oh, God, that dress doesn't do nothing for me. You know, so as far as availability, it's getting better, but it's not just a problem for plus-size people, I wouldn't say. It's across the board, getting the right dress. It's, it's the big day. It's got to be the right dress. So that, that would be the problem, yeah. Question six. What advice would you give to future brides about being body confident in the run-up to their big day and on their big day? Next question is, what, would you give, what advice would you give to future brides on being body confident um, on the run-up to their big day? Um, I'd say wedding day is the same as any day, really. If there's an issue with you being comfortable with yourself, work on it. And it doesn't matter whether it's your hair, whether it's your waistline, whether it's how your ankles look in a pair of shoes, <laughs> you know, um, whatever it is, work on it. If you can't change it, then work on how you feel about it. You know, try to teach yourself, yeah, I am beautiful. Look in the mirror every day and say, whoa, look at you. You know, <laughs> it makes you feel better. And also, um, if there are ways you can get to what what you want, you know, if you don't like what you see and there is a way of changing it and you're happy changing it, never pressured, you, it's up to you, um, then go for it. Have a go, you know, try and lose half stone, you know, or change your hair or, you know, anything you'd like to do. It's your body, it's your choice. And if there's nothing that you're uncomfortable with don't change it you know because the only person that needs to be comfortable whether it's your wedding day or any day is you and you know you could be concerned with what people are looking at and thinking of you but if they're looking at you that way on the wedding day they shouldn't be there if they're going to criticize you or say oh that dress didn't really flatter you or why did you have your hair like that then <laughs> why did you invite them you know you it's your day you and your husband Question seven, what does body confidence mean to you? And the last question is, what is body confidence to you? Or what does it mean to you? Um, I think body confidence, uh, same as liking your face, <laughs> is um, your opinion of your image and what your body looks like, what it feels like, um, being comfortable with how you look in clothes. Um, I think it's a it's a dodgy area, if I'm honest. I would never use my body confidence as an excuse for an unhealthy lifestyle. And I cannot stand here and say I'm the most healthy person in the world. Um, I can put 
a bag of Doritos away like you wouldn't believe. Um, and that is the main area that people need to be focusing on. You know, I know bigger people that, like myself who are very lucky with um, not being diabetic, with not being um, prone to any issues with their blood pressure. Uh, who can carry babies safely and very lucky to do so and their size and their weight has had no impact on that I also know bigger ladies that have a lot of problems with things like that and vice versa for slim so I don't think you, I think you need to separate the health from the image side of things because a lot of people say oh well you're not healthy so it, you know it's not being good being fat we're not talking about that we're talking about whether I look nice in an outfit that's body confidence wearing something and liking what you're wearing and liking your appearance and not just your size not just your body this goes across the board slim tall fat then whichever um it body confidence is loving yourself and loving your image and i think what's helped me to love myself externally is that i've worked on the internals you know, over the time I've learned to love myself for the personality I have and the type of person I want to be. Um, and I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I don't have to be. And my image doesn't have to be everyone's cup of tea. And I think that's the most important thing I've learned personally. Um, and that's what body confidence is. If you've got internal confidence, external confidence will come out as well. It's not every day. I don't feel great every day, I don't look great every day, um, but we also don't have to either. That's what I've come to the conclusion, you don't have to look brilliant every day. And I think, be it the media or celebrity status or just how you've been taught to think about yourself can have a big impact on your body confidence. So for me, it's the fact that I'm supported.